OK, we are continuing our Football Club History Series. We are staying in Spain. We're looking at Villarreal uh, in this video. Their nickname is El Submarino Amarillo, which translates into English as the Yellow Submarine because of their bright yellow kit. They play out of the Estadio de la Ceramica, which seats 23,000, which is basically the size of the town. Uh, the whole town can fit in the stadium. The club itself has just turned 100 years old. They were founded on the 10th of March, 1923. Uh, they didn't reach the top flight in Spain until 1998. Since 1998, they've only had one season outside the top flight. That was the 2012-2013 season. So all their success, reaching new, uh, Champions League semi-finals, the two Intertoto Cups, being runners-up in La Liga and winning the Europa League, have all happened, obviously, since 1998. Now, let's have a look at their honours, because this is very unique about Villarreal. The only other club who I could say are comparable with their trophy cabinet, is Bayer Leverkusen, whose first major honour was a European trophy. Villarreal's first major honour is a European trophy. They do have two Intertoto Cups as well. That was a minor European competition that was played at the beginning of the season to qualify for the old UEFA Cup and the Europa League, which is now defunct. So, technically, they've won three European trophies. They've been to two Champions League semi-finals, and they were runners-up in La Liga as well. So, they nearly won La Liga, which would have completely changed the direction of this club had they done that. So they win the Europa League in the, the COVID-disrupted 2020-2021 season. Uh, they beat Manchester United in the final in that lengthy penalty shootout where David De Gea misses his penalty. That is their first major honour. And as I say, the only other club that I could find whose first major honour is a European trophy is Bayer Leverkusen. And Bayer Leverkusen have only won one other major trophy. So... Villarreal, sort of very similar in that regard. But Villarreal, much smaller club, much smaller fan base than Bayer Leverkusen, and far fewer European appearances. But 2020, 2021, they finally win their first major piece of silverware. They also won two minor pieces of European silverware with the UEFA Intertoto Cup. They won that in 2003 and in 2004. That was a sort of semi-qualifying tournament for what was the UEFA Cup, which became the Europa League. They were, as I say, La Liga runners-up in 2000, 2000, uh, the 2007-2008 season. Um, so they nearly did it that year. And they've reached two Champions League semi-finals in the 2005-2006 season. Now, that was a, a stacked team they had in 2005-2006. And in the 2021-2022 season, they were trying to go to, for back-to-back -back European trophies in the last couple of years, and they just fell just short. But as I say, that 2005-2006 team was absolutely stacked with talent. Uh, you had Serene, Raquel May, I think Forlan was part of that side. They had a stacked, stacked team uh, in the 2005-2006 season and they, they nearly made the Champions League final. Um, very, very close there. Famous Champions League run they had and the same in 2021-2022. Another great Champions League run just falling short of the final hurdle. But they've got some. They've had some great classic European nights, and obviously that UEFA Europa League sits quite proudly in their very small trophy room. Now their main rivals is very interesting. Their biggest rival actually is not a La Liga club. It is Castellón, which is a very local rival in the province in which they play from their lower division days. Now Castellón are still, I think, in the third tier of Spanish football as, as things currently stand. So they haven't played each other regularly for a very very long time. And Valencia, uh, Valencia is their their big La Liga rival and obviously Valencia far more success far more history in the game glittering trophy cabinet not the same with Villarreal now I decided to look at some player records uh, as things currently stand as of recording because there's still games to play this season uh, Manu T T Trigueros has 440 appearances that, that is a club record since 2012 and Gerard Moreno has the goal scoring record with 105 goals and 233 appearances in three spells at the club again since 2012 so he, in his three spells uh, the 2012-2013 season their promotion season back to La Liga he leaves the club returns in the 2014-2015 season and then leaves the club and he returns in the 2018-2019 season where he has stayed Presently, he has the goal-scoring record. So there we go. There is a very brief history of Villarreal, the Yellow Submarine. Um, fantastic club. 
um, literally the ultimate underdog story in the little club that could upset the apple cart. Hopefully they do get more European and domestic success and they can add to that Europa League trophy they won in the 2020-2021 season. And we shall see what happens. But they are a very, very well-run side. They are the prototype well-run small club that can compete above, basically above their standing. Uh, and a lot of other European clubs are looking at, like Villarreal, how to compete against more financially dominant teams in a, in a league. So Villarreal is the prototype small club that can compete at the top level. So there we go. Thank you very much for watching. Please place your thoughts in the comments section below and I'll have some more content for you very, very soon.